Hello, dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars, and I have two metaphors to talk to you about uh, along the lines of the unconscious mind and its interpretation of metaphors. The first one has to do with uh, I need someone to watch my back. I need someone to watch my back. And this metaphor, in this case, is spoken by a man. I have a feeling it would, it would work for a woman too. A man who is in relationship, or could be a woman who's in relationship. And they, their unconscious mind, their lower triangle, their lower uh, mental mind, as some say, is always saying, I need someone to watch my back, right? And they're anticipating that their partner will do that for them. So, this plays out in a physical way in real life because the unconscious mind and the involuntary nervous system are very physical in their interpretation of things. After all, they have to do with the neurons in the viscera, in the, in the stomach area, in the organs, and in the intestines. And so you can anticipate that these sorts of neurons will be very physical in their representation and understanding of reality. So, so, I need someone to watch my back, and you're anticipating that your partner will do that for you. In real life, what will happen is that they will leave from the situation before you do very frequently. For instance, if you're at a party, they might, they might want to come in a separate car and leave in advance of you with the idea being that you will watch their back as they walk out. And the same if, for instance, you're walking around shopping or you're out walking around in the wilderness, you will find that your partner, who is um, like playing out this metaphor in an unconscious way, will be always walking off ahead of you so that you can actually uh, see with your eyes, see their back, okay? In other words, you will be watching their back. In, in the end of a relationship, uh, as, as that time comes round, they will want to be the first to suggest it and the first to leave. So that's how that plays out. Then, the, uh, let's see, I have one other metaphor for you. This is for, could be a man or a woman who is in, in relationship, and the metaphor that they're acting out through their unconscious minds is... Um, I'm. They, they figure they're real good looking, right? And they say, I'm just to die for. I'm to die for. You know that term? It's a term in common use. It just means I'm really good looking, you know. Ladies would lay down their lives for me, and that's how the relationship can play out. If a person is constantly processing in their involuntary nervous system the metaphor, I'm just to die for, I'm to die for. And, and so it will turn out somehow that either through um, unconscious suggestion, like you will get cancer, you will get cancer, this is quite, quite common. When a man is processing uh, hostility against his wife, he's likely to, to induce cancer in her in that way. Uh, it may work in the other way too, quite likely if a woman's really angry with a man. I think that's possible. And uh, this metaphor to die for, I'm to die for, it adds oomph to it because the idea kind of behind it is that I'm like totally good looking, whether I'm a man or a woman, and this other person is like, dust before my feet, you know, they might as well be dead, they're that low. <laughs> so, so it can happen either through unconscious suggestion or actually through a physical act such as poisoning or shooting or like that, generally accompanied with a great deal of subterfuge, uh, like in the instance of a black widow, what they say, or a black widower, what they call it. Uh, where they go on from one relationship to the next, killing their spouse in some way. Uh, and this is because of the, of the large subconscious, un, un, unconscious probably, uh, component in, to do with following up on the metaphor, I'm to die for. <laughs>
So I don't know what to say, except if you've noticed through the Claire chat that your partner is doing one of these things, you can bring this up, bring it to the conscious mind, bring it to the light of awareness and see what, what happens next. Because as we become conscious of the metaphors that rule us, rule our unconscious minds and subconscious minds, uh, we, those metaphors lose their grip on our, our lives and our karma. Our lives become more dharmic then. Well, that's all for now. I'll talk to everyone later. Y'all take care.